Hi, my name is Jennifer, and we all attend CCV, and we're in Dimensions of Self Society, and we're here to talk about what we learned. I'm Ashley. I'm a first-time student here at CCV, and I'm studying nursing. I'm Noor, and I also go to CCV, and I'm studying business. I'm Jackson. I'm attending a class at CCV during my... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What did we all? What did you learn from class? Um. Uh, what I focused on on um, my research paper and um, also my personal um, project um, was the aging population in Vermont. Um, I currently work in the healthcare field, and so that was something that. Um, interest me um, and something surprising that I found out which um, kind of shocked me was that um, in by 2035 the Census Bureau estimates that um, the uh, population age of people 65 and over will outnumber children for the first time in US history. What did you learn Jackson in class? Oh, uh, for my personal memoir that I wrote, I focused more on veterans in Vermont. I researched and wrote about how veterans, there's just so many different stereotypes surrounding them when they come back, how they're, once they leave for war, they're not really the same no matter where they go where, and whenever they come back, really. And what did you learn, Nor? Um, in class, I learned that there's many multiple ways of learning from each other and everyone has different opinions and their own biases on the world and I thought that was really interesting to hear my peers. Um, I studied homelessness in Chandon County um, and in Vermont and one of the main um, problems we are having is affordable housing and um, I think that's one of the biggest issues around homelessness in Vermont and Chittenden County today. Yeah I also found that too with um, the uh, aging, uh, growing aging population that's one of the biggest issues as well and also when we did um, our project where we had to go out and uh, interview people, we focused on um, who, who in our community people thought was the most vulnerable population. And actually what shocked me the most was that, um, that I actually didn't even think about was that a, a lot of the answers that we got was the youth. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone said youth. Everyone yeah. said that that was like their first option, and we didn't think about it until after, for sure. And yeah, because they need, they're not. Yeah, I don't know what, how to explain that, but yeah, they're they they need an adult to help them, and they're more vulnerable than just an adult who's twenty five, who's homeless, is a sixteen year old who just got kicked out of her mom's house and doesn't know how to live on her mm -hmm. own. So yeah, it was an eye opener because I really didn't think about it either. Yeah. What about your guys' video? So uh, we focused mainly on like um, if people thought things were actually getting better in Vermont, like for affordable housing and just society as a whole. We walked around in Renewski for a little bit, but uh, ended up going over to Church Street and we got quite a few good answers there. Uh, we got both answers from people out of state, which was kind of interesting to hear how, like, they were on, they were just visiting on the time, visiting family, and their input on how they thought uh, our little society was going around here. Yeah. Do you have anything? And so, what did I mean? What what kind of answers did you get? Do people believe that? We kind of got a mix. Better? There is a pretty clear divide that. Uh, there's a lot of shocked people though, like when we actually said the world is getting better, there's less people on the streets and stuff like that. It definitely seemed like people thought that the world was just changing for the worse. 
Uh, people were going homeless. They didn't have enough to eat, no roof over their head. So it was nice to be able to give them a different point of view. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I would have thought the same thing with us focusing on, um, you know, the aging population and, you know, homelessness. You know, we, we were on the other side of that. So. Well, the other thing that I um, also think is that it has a lot to do with what we were talking about, about um, social media and media outlets and what they provide to us. And I mean, a lot of that tells us a lot of negative stuff. So, I mean, it's hard for us to believe that the world's getting better, better if we're getting provided all these negative things. Like, there's 95 homeless in this spot right here. We see a picture. <laughs> But you don't see that person walking up and trying to give all of them a warm meal. You know, it's more negative stuff. So I think that has a lot to do with why people think the world is getting worse and better, too. It definitely seems that society as a whole, like, we, most people don't read stories that are, like, happy, sort of, like, cheerful. Like, mm -hmm. we want to know, like, what's wrong in the world. Like, either because we want to fix it or we want to feel better about, like, where we are ourselves. It definitely seems that uh horror stories like just stories about war sell better yeah yeah i agree um so if you want to take um a moment or a few minutes to watch our video on um the vulnerable population we can show you that now In your opinion, who do you consider is a vulnerable population and why? Um, definitely those who don't, who can't afford living in Winooski or Burlington, so the homeless, um, women in shelters, who are victims of domestic violence and abuse. Okay. It's the people that have worked hard all their life and they still have to show something that they're worthy of what they're getting. You know what I mean? And it shouldn't be that way. Not for the elderly. You know, they've, yeah. you know, it's, I love the elderly. Of course, I'm getting old anyways. <laughs> In your opinion, who do you consider is a vulnerable population and why? Youth, mostly, um, because there's not enough outreach, there's not enough education on what the government's actually offering for educational programs and for money, for grants, for uh, training programs, and there are a lot of them available, and I'll tell you in a minute what they are. Okay. Do you think the community provides enough resources for the vulnerable populations? No. In your opinion, who do you think, who do you consider is the most vulnerable population and why? The most vulnerable population and why? I don't know, women help battered women. Why do you say that? Why? Because I'll tell you what, there's not enough places for them to go out. Okay? Come on. There's no affordable housing around here. This is a rich man's state. And I'm going to tell you what, what you got is a lot of poor people. I'm telling you what, they're getting ready to just up and leave this place. And I mean that, too, you know? Do you think they could do more? I think there's more money to do more. Yeah. Like what? Could you give us more of an idea? Well, um... They spend about about a million dollars a year on the roads. So half that could get these people off the yeah. street, you know. And it's, winter here is bad. Winter yeah. here is very bad. So a lot of the homeless go to jail just to get off the street. So if there's money to patch a sidewalk or fix a pothole, then there should be money to build one of these buildings for the homeless. What more could we offer the vulnerable community? Job. Jobs. All right. Thank you. Have a good night, sir. Um, what useful resources do we provide the community that are actually helpful? There's the question. So <clears throat> for, for homeless, for uh, youth, for just about any age group, and it doesn't even really matter if you uh, have a, good savings or not savings there's the Vermont Department of Labor which is on Pearl Street if you go to the second floor and you ring the you have to ring the buzzer give them a little call and they'll come down and get you 
and they have a program for apprenticeships and you can they have a list of sponsors that of people who have in the past given apprenticeships to people uh, the apprenticeship program is quite detailed and it's this is a huge program that will help a lot of people so. awesome thank you sure. <laughs> I, I really want people to know about this because yes yeah. thank you Another program is if you are of college age, and I think actually you can do it in high school too, is the VSAC non-degree grant. And they told me that the average Vermont resident, you have to be a Vermont resident to get it, you can receive seven grants in your lifetime, maximum cap, but the grant amount is 2,500 bucks. You can do a lot with 2,500 bucks. I think that the city needs to to take one of their staff members because they got a whole room full of people in the Department of Labor upstairs, a lot of people, and make one of those people as somebody who walks around on the street and approaches homeless people, goes to the food shelf, goes to all these places where people have challenges, goes to the refugee communities, goes to the Department of, you know, the refugee program here. Those are the places that they know people are having challenges. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Wilson, <laughs> he, he wants to run for mayor of Winooski. You'd win it, bud. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. So that was our video. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching that. And um, as for you, did you want to show your video? Oh, yeah. Well? Uh, for sure. If you guys would like to take a peek at our video right now, we'll show a few clips. We're out here on Church Street for our Dimensions of Self and Society class, asking people if they think the world is getting better or worse. And so far, we've had some surprising answers. <laughs> getting better and worse. I believe it's getting worse um, more in the way that it's getting better. But because it's getting worse, I think people are also becoming more aware, which is really cool. Um, like especially politics. I don't know a lot about politics, but um, I know that people are like definitely wanting to vote more and all of that. So with every it's both right like you have like good things and bad things you have but it's always been like that isn't it like yin and yang yeah so I, I think it's actually same uh, yeah over like the last 20 25 years uh, I feel like uh, we've gradually been getting better but right now we're kind of at a turning point where we can go either way um, yeah it kind of getting the world better if they like like people doing the right things that they're supposed to do we will, will be getting the right but if there is any hate or raise then the world's not gonna get better yeah Vermont Vermont's, it's getting better it's a good place to stay and it's a safe place I think it's getting better and hopefully burning can lead us somewhere. So we came out here with a few facts to tell you that it is getting better and things can be getting better and still be bad at the same time. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Good, good for Vermont. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I'm a visitor. So yeah, it's all foreign to me, but that's nice. And where are you from? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming from like Long Island. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That. Does that make you think that things could be getting even better? Yeah, it, it, it could be get more better for that. Yeah. For the, but I didn't look that much homeless, but yeah, it could be, it could be get better. Do you think that that's going to continue to improve? Hey, you know, for, I, I think it's like you guys trying to do positive stuff. Like, if everyone just did that, like, it would be a much, you know, it's going to work out. <laughs> yeah.
Okay. Thank uh, you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed all the information we shared, and you have a wonderful night.